people work by this rule of thumb that says you should never upgrade to the first release of Oracle. You should wait for the second release and preferably wait for the first patch set against the second release. That's never been something I've particularly been a follower of. I guess I can understand why some people think that. They feel that the first patch set, the first release, sorry, is an extended beta. And in some cases that's proved to be kind of true. But my attitude really is that you should get involved in the technology, you should learn it to the best of your ability, and then get a feel for how reliable you think it is. If the first release feels incredibly buggy, then don't use it, or wait for the patch sets that fix those issues. If the first release feels really good, then try it. Go through your testing environments and see if it does what it says it does. If after testing you still feel it's reliable enough, then go for it. I have no problem with using first releases. I've used first releases a number of times in the past without any real problems. I guess a lot depends on what feature set you're using. If you have some quite extreme demands, then maybe you'll hit more problems than other people who are in the middle ground. I often get emails from people asking me questions and the implication is very much that they don't have test environments. They don't have somewhere to do these practice upgrades with real production data and see what happens and do performance testing. Well, if that's the way your company works, then your company sucks. You just have to test this stuff. There's no other way around it. You can't know how well a release will work against your system without testing it. You may be making demands on it that no one else in the world is and come across bugs that no one else has seen. You may find that a release that everyone else is saying is incredibly buggy works perfectly well for you because you're not using any of the features that they see as buggy. The only way you'll know is to try it out. So what I would suggest is you very quickly try to get involved in the new tech, you try to learn the new features, the new functionality, see what it can bring to you and your company and then you'll be able to make a judgement during that process about how reliable you think it is. This is exactly what happened with me and 12101. As soon as it came out, I started playing with it, trying to get a handle on the functionality. And along that process, I found there were a number of things that I was quite unhappy with. Not all of them showstoppers, but enough individual things that made me think, maybe I'm not happy about this as a production release. With the advent of 12102, then I was able to start the process again really and try out some of those things that bugged me with 12101 and found that they were tightened up. So that makes me think that 12102 is a reasonable production release. And as a result of that, we actually started to do proof of concept stuff in the company I work for with it. So it's a first release. I'm perfectly happy about going to production with that but each system will get tested and we will have a good feel for if there's a problem with it at the point where we consider making the production move. If there are any problems along the way we won't and we'll wait for the next patch set or the next release or whatever it takes to give us a reliable outcome. I don't see that there's an alternative to this and just blindly thinking that the second release will have all the problems fixed is also naive. You have to test. If you're working in a company that doesn't provide the environment for you to do those tests, then you're going to be in trouble and maybe you should think about setting up an environment on the cloud to do those tests or even doing limited testing on your own PC using something like VirtualBox. But you just can't do this stuff in production without doing some testing first. It's lunacy. When I 
get those sort of emails where the implication is very much, I only have access to a production system to do this, my first response is, you're crazy, don't touch it. Until you have an environment to test on, don't go near it. Uh, would I suggest anyone should do an upgrade to a first release on a production system without doing any testing? Hell no, you're crazy. So going back to the original point, should you wait for the second release or the first patch set against the second release? No, I don't think so. You should make the move as soon as you feel ready to make the move. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description box and subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it.